One thing that Californians can all agree on is that we sure do enjoy our hiking. And if you're looking to live somewhere that's close to nature and just far away from the city center to live in a quiet and community-based city, then stay tuned because I'm taking you on a tour of La Mesa, which its motto being the jewel of the hills. Let's get into it. Hey, if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. If you want to learn everything there is to know about San Diego and surrounding areas so you can live like a local, make sure you subscribe and tap that bell to be notified so you can be first to learn about the market here in San Diego, California. My name is Jamie and my team and I help people from all over the country relocate and invest in real estate. So whether you're looking to make a move now or you're just planning ahead for your future, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email because we are happy to help you make that move to the best city in California where we do everything but the packing. All right, so currently I am at Mount Helix Park. It has been one rainy winter this season and it's turned out to be such a great day, a perfect day in fact, for me to come out here and highlight and showcase the lifestyle of living in La Mesa and why it attracts so many people looking to purchase a home. So let's start out by talking about the location. La Mesa is about nine miles east of downtown San Diego and it's located in what we refer to as East County. It's also about 10 miles to the nearest beach, which you're gonna find would be like Pacific Beach or Ocean Beach. Uh, La Mesa is off both the eight and 94 freeway. So for commuting, it could be great because there are a lot of job opportunities not too far away. And it does offer quite a bit more of an affordable option when looking to purchase a home, but do expect there to be traffic coming and going, especially during those commuting hours. So there are about 60 residents living in La Mesa and it does tend to be on the younger side with the median age being at 35 and a half. So this is the place where people who are looking to start a family move to. The schools are top rated. In fact, if you look on niche.com, it gives La Mesa an A minus for the public schools, K through 12. Uh, several rank in the top 100 best public schools in California. The best schools in La Mesa are going to include Helix Charter High School, you have Grossbot Middle College High School, and uh, Magnolia Science Academy San Diego. So La Mesa does not have a San Diego zip code, so it is its own city, and it's comprised of 15 different neighborhoods with four zip codes. I would say the most popular neighborhoods in La Mesa are going to be La Mesa Village, which is pretty much in the city center of La Mesa Boulevard, which is where you'll find most of the dining and shoppings, uh, which is all walking distance. Uh, then there is Eastridge, which have beautiful homes up in the hills, so you're gonna get stunning views and their homes tend to be bigger here as well. Another area is gonna be Fletcher Hills, which is close to a lot of shopping and Fletcher Hills Park. The homes do tend to be on the smaller side, but it does make it a more affordable option. Uh, that and uh, Rolando Knowles. I would say. Because we are in East County, it's not as temperate as some of the beach communities or like downtown San Diego is. It can hit triple digits during the summer. When it's 75 degrees in downtown San Diego, it'll be pushing 90s here in La Mesa. So having a pool can be a huge bonus. That is why pools are, pools are so desirable in SoCal. Uh, there is, you know, an added cost and upkeep, but it does make up for it during the summer months. So being outdoors all year long is very doable because it's surrounded by nature. It doesn't rain nearly as much as what we've experienced this year. But where I'm currently at is Mount Helix Park, which is an, un which is an unincorporated part of San Diego. Uh, people come here for the unobstructed 360 degree views. I mean, you come here at sunrise or sunset and you'll just be blown away. You get to experience the sun lighting up the valley, which is right behind me. It's really a photographer's dream. I mean, just look at, look at the view that I have. This area is also, has the amphitheater, which is 
back that way. And that's where you'll find various events, one of them being the Food and Wine Festival. And that typically happens towards the end of summer. And then they also do an Easter sunrise service here too. So a couple of cool things for you to check out. So like I've mentioned, it's very outdoorsy here, a lot of nature. And one popular spot is gonna be Lake Murray, which is a really popular place to go on a sunny day. You can go fishing. I believe there's both trout and bass in the lake. Um, and then there's a paved path that surrounds the lake so people can bike and walk on. You can even rent boats to take out on the lake during the sunrise or sunset. And you definitely see kayakers and paddle boarders on the water as well. Then there are those times when all you wanna do is find a green area to have a picnic on and get some fresh air. Well, I would steer you to the Harry Griffin Park. There is a great play area there, Whoa, <laughs> jogging park and a dog park. Then up in the foothills on the back side of a neighborhood called San Carlos, which is a San Diego neighborhood, is where you're going to find Mission Trails Park. So this area is stunning and caters to those who are looking for a hiking adventure in nature. Uh, there's also Old Mission Dam, which I would guess is pretty full at the moment. Uh, Mission Trails is where you're gonna come to meander through the mountains and valleys. It's about 8,000 acres with 60 miles of trailheads. So I have clients who purchased a home in this neighborhood and they love to take their bikes out and go through the trails. That is the biggest reason why they actually uh, purchased a home in the San Carlos neighborhood because it's near Mission Trails. I have now made my way down the mountain to La Mesa Boulevard, which is pretty much the city center here in La Mesa. It's Friday, so the weekly farmer's market is happening right now. This area has really boomed in the last 10 years or so. So no longer do you need to leave La Mesa for a night out. Mm -mm. There are so many fabulous dining restaurants, dining restaurants. There's so many dining, fabulous dining options, amazing restaurants here in La Mesa. One notable being Farmer's Table. This is a farm to plate style restaurant that's family owned and it's, it was nationally recognized for their brunch menu. It's the type of place where the Bloody Mary is the entire meal. If you know, you know. There are other locations within San Diego County, one of them being in Little Italy. So I do frequent this place often and I highly recommend. I've never had dinner there, but I have enjoyed a uh, boozy brunch there and they have the best espresso martini I've ever had anywhere. So if you're looking for a good espresso martini, look no further, farmer's table is the place for you. I don't know, <laughs> there you go. And then other na notable restaurants that are here in the La Mesa area, area uh, that I wanna mention is one place called Surf Rider Pizza Co. So it, this is located in, in La Mesa Village, which is where I'm located. And it's one of those places where it's you get the pizza or you can order the pizza by the slice. They have a great outdoor patio area. They, in fact, they have two large patio areas. They have a bar and they also have a full bakery. As in one side has a glass enclosure of pizza slices to choose from, and then the other side is a full dessert menu. So if you're ever in the mood for, I don't know, barbecue pizza and a lemon bar, I don't know. I think a margarita pizza and a brownie, there you go. San Diego is widely known for their uh, breweries and microbrews, and La Mesa has got them all. Some popular spots are the Helix Brewing Company, which has uh, an on-site brew garden. There's also Bolt Brewery. So this place has live music all week long. There is another one, another location located in Little Italy, which if you've watched my other videos, you know that is where I live. So that's why I bring it up so often. But there's another location there and I have been there quite a few times. It's amazing. And if you're looking for somewhere with beer and entertainment, then go to Coin House. It's a place to go. It's an arcade slash brewery. All right, it's St. Patty's Day, so I think that I need to get in the spirit and go find an Irish pub to enjoy a beer. I'm talking about breweries, like, let's go get one. It's Friday, St. Patty's Day. Let's go find the best Irish bar in La Mesa.
All right, I found the Irish pub here in La Mesa, which is Hooli's public house, but to be expected, it was packed. I mean, it was it was pretty busy, and everybody was already three sheets to the wind. So I decided to come back to La Mesa Village to have my celebratory St. Patty's Day cocktail. And currently, I am at a place called Curbside. So drink is good. Not gonna eat the food, so I can't really comment on the food. But so far, drink pretty good. But you can't really mess up a Jameson and ginger, can you? <laughs> but if you are looking for an Irish pub, Hooli's Public House is named one of the best Irish pubs in La Mesa, but I believe it's the only one because I, I did some research. <laughs> but if you're ever in the mood for live music, Guinness beer and fish and chips, there you go. That's the place to be. Well, today is turning out to be just a great day. The weather, the vibe, everything. I've been able to trip around the city. I got a hike in, uh, saw some killer views. And now in celebration of St. Patty's Day, cheers. All right, the first property I wanted to show you um, is a potential income producing property. It's right here. It's zoned duplex, but there are currently three units on the property, plus an office that is located under the two car garage. So it's kind of like a live and work situation. There are two parallel parking spaces, which you can see, and a two car garage. This opportunity is located within walking distance to La Mesa Village. So the downtown area is just right on the other side of me. And this can be great for someone who's looking for a live work situation. And you can also live in one of the units and rent out the other two units. So this is listed at a million ninety nine, so 1.1. So if you were to put 20% down your monthly payment, you're looking around 6,000 a month. Okay, but check it out. If you were to rent all the units, so all three of the units, you can get an average combined um, rent of about 7,500 a month. So this is actually a cash positive opportunity. And this street that I'm on right now, Lemon Avenue, is mostly rental units. And so there are a lot of multifamily units here, um, apartments, duplexes, triplexes, fourplexes. So majority is going to be uh, tenant occupied on this street. And there you go. You got a really killer investment property for you that's cash positive. All right, let's go check property number two out. All right, we are at our second home, and this is located in the Eastridge Estates area. It's one of the most sought after neighborhoods in La Mesa. So this area is up in the hills where the homes tend to be. On the bigger side, it's quiet up here, and the only traffic coming through here is residential. So the home's right behind me. This is a five bedroom, four bathroom home with 3,000 square feet of living space. It's located on the backside of a canyon, so the views from the backyard are spectacular. The home is move-in ready. It is dated, but looks to be in great condition. And if you watch some of my other videos, you might see this and immediately go, oh, this home is two million. Well, because we're in La Mesa, this home is actually listed at 1395. I can't think of a more killer opportunity to get into a home this size, it's only 20 minutes to the nearest beach or downtown San Diego, with the bonus of being up in the hills. Are we starting to see the benefits of living in La Mesa yet? All right, well, if not, I have one more to show you, so let's go take a look. All right, so we're at the last property that I wanted to show you today. This is a great starter home and future opportunities to expand. So someone who might have a lower budget but who's looking specifically for a single family home instead of being, you know, buying a condo, 
This is a two bedroom, one bath home with an 8,000 square foot lot. So the benefits of this home is the opportunity to expand on the lot to eventually one day turn it into a three bedroom, two bath minimum. After doing so, you're going to increase the home's value by at least 30%. It does have a one car garage, but that's very typical for this entire neighborhood. Uh, this neighborhood was built in 1947, so the homes are older. This is a neighborhood called Academy Heights. Uh, but the home itself is in great move in condition, plus it has scenic views from the backyard. This home is listed at $729,000. The sun is setting, so I figured I would take advantage and head to Mission Trails Park. So let's talk about housing. The prices in La Mesa are not exorbitant compared to other parts of San Diego County. The average price for a single family home is gonna run about 950,000. And if we're looking for like condo or townhome, then we're looking at about 500,000. But there are opportunities to buy a single family home for around 800,000. So there are other options available to you. All right, that about wraps it up. A lot of the locals will tell you that they enjoy living here because it's far enough away from downtown San Diego that it doesn't draw tourists. Uh, so the community can really maintain tranquility uh, while having you know its own personality compared to the rest of San Diego. Hey, if you've been thinking about relocating now or planning for your future, know that you can give me and my team a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email anytime because we are here and we are happy to help you make that move when the time is right. And as always, my friends, till next time, stay classy, San Diego. We just love that afternoon sun, don't we?